Jaguars at the Seahawks. Um, talking about not the best. Let's see here. Seahawks, three point, three point home favorites over the Jags. A forty three and a half point total here. So uh, enroll the Jags uh, off of by if you want to say that maybe that helped this team. Uh, Seattle with one of the worst offensive performances I, I've seen in a long, long time. You take away that eighty four yard touchdown pass to D, uh, to DK Metcalf in that Saints game and. Holy hell was the Seattle offense just brutal to watch. It was disgusting to have to watch that, um, to have to watch that go down. Uh, I have no thoughts here, Brad. I mean, I, again, in a game where two horrible teams are playing, if you're going to give me the points with one team, I think I would at least lean towards taking the points with the Jaguars as crazy as that may sound, but, uh, no, I don't have anything in the account as we speak right now. No, no, it's another garbage game. Um, you, it is, it is the better quarterback getting <laughs> points. And you, you would say that the Seahawks without Russell Wilson are, I think, on a par with Jacksonville, right? Like the rest of the roster is terrible, really. Like they've got maybe one good player on the defensive side. Even Bobby Wagner's playing worse this year. Offensively, there's, <laughs> they've got yeah. two good receivers and th- th- an unwillingness to throw to them, right? You, you can get by, I think you can get by with Geno Smith if you throw on early downs, you run play action and, and do all that stuff. But it's run, run, pass, right? Russell Wilson can bail you yeah, out. Pete Carroll but, has, yeah, the game's passed him by. Yeah, yeah. The, the game's just passed him by. There was, there was, there was a stretch. Brad, he ran on nine consecutive plays like this this past week. I mean, like in, in the yeah. NFL, he ran on nine consecutive plays into the strength of like that, the Saints stopped the run. That's what they do. Um, and he, yeah. he admitted himself, he was like, "If Russell Wilson wasn't here, I'd be gone." And it, it's true, right? Ru- Russell Wilson is is so good that he's, he's kept this guy employed, and he shouldn't be employed because he's a garbage coach. Um, now. Trevor Lawrence, we we like Trevor Lawrence. Um, I think he's 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 good. He's much better than uh, Geno Smith. So, but maybe a, maybe a Jacksonville team total would be a way to look at this because the Seahawks' pass defense is still trash when it's when it's not protected by the wind and the rain like it was last week. Um, where have we got Seahawks defense DVOA twenty fifth pass defense DVOA. Um, so I, I do believe mm. Lawrence can take advantage of that. So that might be one way to look at this. Yeah, I, I, I'm Stephen. I don't know what you think about this one. Um, you know, again, if I was, if I was playing it, I would. I'd be back in the Jaguars. What say you? Brad hit it right on the head. That's exactly the bet I made this week. I debated taking the Jags in the points, but I think Jags team total over was the angle mm-hmm. I felt more comfortable in because now I'm not banking on the the terrible Jaguars defense to do something, and which still could you know, lead to somehow Seattle covering even with Geno Smith. So I just don't want to bet to back the Jaguars defense. So I, I'll do team total over 20, which I think is kind of a, a very low number to ask for here. Jacksonville um, is number one in the NFL in pace. They are number one in the NFL in second half pace. And historic. if you look at recent years, 20 points would currently rank 24th in the NFL on a per game basis and 20 points per game was 28th last year. So very low bar. We're asking Trevor Lawrence to clear here this week against a bad Seattle defense. And if you look at the Jags offense, their first three games, they were awful. He was figuring it out. He was 30th and 28th and drop back EPA and success rate. The last three games, he's 17th and 10th in drop back EPA and success rate. So the lights start to come on here a little bit for Trevor Lawrence, I think. And we're still getting a very low number here that we need to clear for the team total against a suspect defense. So over 20 for me for the Jags. We are all in the same mindset here. It's just really tough to back the Seattle team in any fashion right now. And certainly as as favorites in any sort of game because of the way that they call this offense and and the way that they underutilize everything. And again, it's still still dealing with a pretty bad defense. Uh, we are all of the like mind here. It's, it's Jags, Jags team total or a pass.